Hi, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. And I hope you're enjoying your craft, American Craft Beer Week. Uh, I'm going to be busy uh, the next couple of weeks because um, I'm going to be moving, so I'm probably going to be a little bit more infrequent uh, uh, beer reviews. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm going to be getting changing this somehow. I, I don't know. So might be uh, different places. I uh, might try to do a couple more here before I move. But, um, but uh, you know, things have to be done. Um, so this next uh, craft beer is a West Coast craft beer I hardly ever talk about, uh, the brewery. But I thought I'd uh, talk about it for American Craft Beer Week. Uh, it's uh, Rogue. Rogue, and I'm sure you all know Rogue. If you have not tried Rogue... You know, they're from Oregon. You should try them. Uh, this one's kind of unusual for them because they're known for really big, strong flavored beers, uh, much like um, Stone, if you're familiar with Stone. Um, but this one's a Pilsner, so I thought that was kind of unusual. And also, uh, lately I've been trying to encourage more and more people that aren't uh, regular craft beer drinkers to, you know, at least try them because... Um, uh, and, and they are kind of intimidating for some people. So I'm trying to go with uh, some of the beers that, that you might be more familiar with, like the Pilsners or, you know, or something like that. So, um, so and I'm trying these as well because it's been a while since I've been into um, Pilsners and, uh, and and the lighter beers in general. So um, just trying to get back into those. You know, it's going to probably be hot this summer. You know, so, and it's nice to enjoy uh you know, something like this on a hot day. Well, this, this one's uh, called Morimoto Sobo Ale. Sobo Ale. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, hopefully. Some uh, Japanese writing on the cap. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's Japanese. It could be Chinese. For, for, I, don't, I don't know. It says Morimoto. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I, th I think Sobo is like a uh, kind of grain. It might be a race or... Oh, some kind of wheat, I don't know. Hardly ever get to use a Pilsner glass, so uh, I do try to have all the all the proper glassware. Yeah, it smells very much like a Pilsner. <laughs> now I'm expecting this one to be uh you know, most Pilsners you may know are probably uh, more mass-produced pilsners. I'm expecting this one to have a much richer, more truer uh, pilsner taste than uh, a lot of the uh, watered-down mass-produced ones. Oh, that has an interesting, really nice... It's a really nice taste to it. It has a really refreshing taste to it, uh, much more so than most of the other prisoners uh, I've had. And there's something I really can't uh, place in there. It's uh, it's it's really nice. So it did say something about yeah, it goes well with chicken or fish. I can imagine this would go really nicely with sushi. Um, um, you know, it, it's really a really a pleasant beer actually. Um, I can really see, uh, you know, just going, you know, not only with chicken or fish, but going, you know, with any sporting event. <laughs> so. Really nice finish. I a really smooth, nice uh, finish. I don't, uh, I don't know the APV. Like I usually don't prepare for these. I should really prepare a little bit more, but I, I have a, you know, a fear that it won't be as honest. Or as genuine, if I do prepare. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't see the APV. There's a bunch of other information on it. Thirty IBUs, which not not much, but just enough for here. Um, you know, I don't see the uh, APV. Usually, their stuff is, you know, um, usually their stuff is pretty high in it. Uh, the um, alcohol, so you gotta really be careful a lot with their stuff. 
This one I don't taste it though. But you know, anything by Rogue, you should uh, at least uh, go try it. You know, uh, give it a try. Uh, and you know, enjoy the rest of American Craft Beer Week. Like I said, I'll, I will be moving probably in the next couple weeks sometime. So I don't know how many more of these I can fit in, but um, I'll see what I can do. So thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Enjoy your beer. And be careful and responsible. Thanks.